Okay, now for a more advanced statistical test. This test is used to show if there are statistically different, statistically significant differences between the data you collected from your different treatment groups in response to the independent variable. Okay, and so when you do this test, you do want to come up with these two different types of hypotheses. There's the null hypothesis, which is that there is no statistically significant difference between the stem growth of Fesiolus vulgaris when given different saltwater concentration solutions. So that was the example we were using before. The alternate hypothesis would be that there is statistically significant differences between the stem growth of Phaseolus vulgaris when given different saltwater concentration solutions. So you're going to use a statistical test calculator. I'm going to recommend this one right here. It's danielsopper.com. Okay, and it's the ANOVA test. Okay, so this is the video that you're going to be watching to see how to plug your values into this statistical test calculator online. So this is what it looks like when you go to the website. And if you plug in all of your data, it would look something like this. So you've got your different subjects. There are five different subjects, right, per treatment. The treatments are these groups. Okay, subjects are the different trials, the five different trials, right? And then you had the mean values, which you had calculated before. I inserted those. Those are the averages from over here, right? And then you've got your standard deviations that you insert there as well. So then you just simply click calculate. You end up with these values right here, okay? The only values that you actually have to worry about are the F value right here. Okay, you're also going to have to calculate a couple other values as well. I would screenshot this information and you could even put that into your IA. Okay, other things that you have to calculate are degrees of freedom. Okay, these are going to be needed to interpret the F table of the critical values. Okay, so DF1, degrees of freedom 1, is the total independent variables minus 1. Okay, and so for you, all of you, it should be 5 minus 1 because your independent variables would be the five different groups, right, that you are testing. Okay, for example, the salt concentrations. So you would subtract 1 from 5 and you end up with a DF1 value of 4, right, so that equals 4. Then you have DF2, which is their total trials minus DF1. Okay, so what was your total trials? It should have been 25 total, right? Because there were five trials for each of the five groups, which equals 25. Okay, subtract DF1, so subtract 4, and then you end up with 21. Now, why did we calculate that? We calculated that calculated it so that we could use this F table and interpret the F table. So if you click on this link, it takes you to this website right here. Okay, you've got your table of critical values for the F distribution for use with ANOVA. Okay, so what you're going to do here is your DF1 are these values up at the top along here. Your DF2 are the values over here down the left side. So we said that our DF1 value, remember, was 4. So we're going to start right here at 4. We're going to move down to the DF2 value, which was 21, right? So 21 move over right here, and we end up with 2.84. Now this is what's known as our critical value. Okay, so the critical value is 2.8, 2.84, okay, critical value. Okay, now if your critical value is less than your F value, remember our F value back from over here was 
30.377, right? So if 2.84 is less than that 30.77 value, then you can reject your null hypothesis. So we reject that null hypothesis back over here, which was that there's no statistically significant difference between the stem growth when given the different salt concentration solutions. So we're rejecting that and we're accepting the alternate hypothesis because the critical value was less than our F value. There is a statistically significant difference between the stem growth of Phaseolus vulgaris when given different salt water concentration solutions. Okay, that's great. So that means that the data would be significantly, statistically significant with 95% certainty. And now you can comment on that in your conclusion when you talk about interpreting your data and statistical significance of your data.